Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Howard. We got the little tool post working. And uh, I'm going to show you. I'm just taking a face cut on this little stop collar that I made for a job that I'm doing. And uh, here we go. vibration because I got a pulley with a little vent back here one of the drive pulleys and uh not real bad but still a little bit anyway that's a 10,000 cut with a cheap old Harbor Freight tool working. Not a real good finish, but not bad either. Keeps me from having to fire up my rotary and my big lathe just to do a, a little face cut like that. So, seems to be working real good. Uh, and I did uh, the bore on this bushing the other night on this machine too with a little boring tool from Harbor Freight which they're not real good carbide but it worked <clears throat> so and uh, it's a teeny tiny little thing but man it comes in handy for some things like I said it keeps me from having to fire up the rotary for a little, little tiny job like this, it's perfect. And I think my tool could be ground just a little better, but still, that's not bad. It's really not that bad. Well, we're going to play with it just a little bit more, but the tool post is working sweet. It was worth the effort. Beats the crap out of one of them lantern things. And, uh, you can put, a, I think, up to a 3 8 tool in it. 3 8 shank. Of course, you have to shim it, but I'm used to doing that. It's the only kind of tool post I've ever used, other than that lantern-style tool post, which I, I don't like those things. Anyway, there it is. Works real good. If you want to change positions, all you do is loosen this, turn it to the next position. I don't know if you can hear it click, lock it back down. It's just like that one. It works the same way. So, anyway, guys, there it is. I'm real happy with this little lace so far. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Okay, until the next time. I'll talk at you later. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.